UBS Suspends Six Forex Traders by www.forexconspiracyreport.com News reports reveal a widening Forex investigation as UBS suspends six Forex traders. We wrote previously about an international investigation of Forex markets by the U.S. Department of Justice, the U.K. Financial Conduct Authority, and authorities in the European Union. As always, our concern for the Forex trader is beating the Forex conspiracy as the wealthy and well-connected manipulate currency markets. News Update as UBS Suspends Six Forex Traders According to the Forex News, UBS suspended two traders in Zurich, three in New York, and one in Singapore. This is a result of the ongoing Forex investigation and a direct result of the bank's own internal investigation in rigging of currency benchmarks. To date, there have been 30 Forex traders suspended from 11 banks. Allegations are that traders used chat rooms to share info and rig Forex benchmarks allowing them to trade more profitably while others incurred losses. Another LIBOR or more. As UBS suspends six Forex traders at once, investigators are wondering if this will turn into another LIBOR scandal. The LIBOR scandal was when investigators found that banks were rigging interbank loan rates. The end result of the LIBOR scandal is that banks had to pay billions in fines to regulators, fire dozens of traders, and are still are facing lawsuits that could run into the billions of dollars. Now we hear that silver and gold trading may also have been subject to the same sort of problems as the Forex conspiracy with traders fixing benchmarks. Strategies for Traders with all of this underhanded dealing going on, how do you beat the Forex conspiracy? If you cannot trust the end of day fixings and benchmarks, how can you profit in trading Forex? There are still lots of profitable Forex strategies even if someone is attempting to rig the market. All of them, however, probably involve very short term market exposure. If someone is manipulating a currency pair, you may see substantial and unexpected price movement. If you simply scalp profits while the trend continues, you will typically be able to make money provided that you do move in and out of the market rapidly. Also, one can follow intraday trends, but with the same admonition, keep your presence in the market short. Untrustworthy Fundamentals as UBS suspends six Forex traders in a widening scandal, we are reminded of a simple fact. When there is a Forex conspiracy, you cannot trust fundamentals in the short or medium term. However, you can still trust fundamentals in the very long term. Unscrupulous traders may be messing with the benchmarks each and every day, but they are not deciding how trade figures between Japan and the USA will turn out and they have no say in the US non-farm payroll report. The Forex conspiracy folks who fiddle with benchmarks do not have anything to say about the Russian takeover of Crimea and the subsequent fall of the ruble. So as UBS suspends six Forex traders do not give up on Forex trading but rather adjust your trading practices in order to minimize any losses and trade smart. For more insights and useful information about trading foreign currencies, visit www.forexconspiracyreport.com.